Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. It's been a few days since I did my last video. Simply, there hasn't been any news, and there hasn't been any theories that I haven't gone over already to make videos about, so we're back. We're making this video today. I've got some information as in regards to who's showing up at Comic-Con in regards to The Flash and Arrow, and also we got this new cool Comic-Con exclusive cover, and also some set photos that just came out today. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so first up, Comic Con. So we got this TV guide to cover right here, and this is not in regards to the Flash, this is in regards to all the Arrowverse shows, obviously including the Flash, and so it shows all the women of DC TV, but all the women who are going to be coming and obviously attending Comic Con because this is an exclusive in the background. Say you can see Star Girl, who's not in the Arrowverse; she's on DC Universe. You can see Young Justice. You can see Batwoman. And guess who's center? Right in the middle, we've got Supergirl. That's right. And so you see, you can look closely, and it's all these different characters. And I thought I'd just bring it up because it's really cool. You see Alex, Lena. You've got Nicole Maines obviously playing dreamer in the background in her poster look because you know that's definitely from the poster and we got Asi Tesfay in the back playing James's sister so yeah this is just a nice thing wanted to point out because Supergirl is actually featured on that every year so yeah anyway so in regards to Comic Con as well we've got confirmed to be at Comic Con and there may be more stars and more people attending but for now I know that Grant Gustin Candace Patton, Carlos Valdez, Danielle Panabaker, Hartley Sawyer, and executive producer Eric Wallace are confirmed. So be expecting them to be around. Obviously, we don't have in that list, but I'm going off the list for the press rooms. This is not for the panels. So that's not saying that they're not in the panels. So right now, I don't know if Tom Kavanagh or Jesse L. Martin is coming. I don't think Jesse didn't come last year, even though he was still a series regular it's because of his injury. And so, yeah. I'm not sure. I do think Tom Kavanaugh is going to come, so no worries about that. So that's in regards to The Flash, and so as in regards to Arrow, what's been confirmed to me is Stephen Amell is going to be there, David Ramsey, Katie Cassidy, Juliana Harkavy, Rick Gonzalez, producer slash director James Bamford, that's interesting, and executive producer Mark Guggenheim are all confirmed. So that's interesting that James Bamford's there. Obviously, it's going to be a big thing in the last season okay so let's move on to talk about these set photos all from yvr shoots on twitter and so these are from the flash episode one because they're still filming it right now they started filming on the second so it's been exactly a week i believe that they started off with some inside shots first and then we got those photos just from the other day from canada graphs where we saw them having family barbecue but these photos are kind of different because in the photo that you see right here, we see Captain Joe West, obviously, as the captain now, which is obviously a big change for him, I think. Maybe they're going to try and involve Joe a bit more in the story. Obviously, last season at the start, he couldn't because Jesse was injured, and then he finally returned. He was sort of, you know, a rather big thing, but he's never been such a big thing since season one. So I reckon with him being captain, he's going to be sort of around a bit more. So that's exciting. He's looking really cool with the glasses and everything so what they are filming here is obviously some sort of crime scene or some sort of confrontation and we've actually got the details as to one of the other shots that they were shooting but it was very very close by apparently in regards to where it was because he was shooting in the coal harbor and they were doing another shot at the marine building and i believe this is probably happening later tonight i'm not sure if they've shot this yet but apparently, this is what it says the filming notice. We are filming an establishing shot of the scene of the marine building. So obviously this marine building, something's going on. So with them shooting earlier in the day, obviously in daylight, I believe that maybe with the establishing shot, that is where they are. And they're doing either some sort of crime scene or they are obviously confronting a villain or a criminal. Okay, so let's move on to the next photo, and so the next photo shows Ralph, and so he's as elongated man, so weird fact, 
he wasn't actually at the family barbecue that they shot the other day so i'm not sure what's going on with that but i feel like because that is very very summary it could be a flashback however like some of you pointed out in my other video it's supposed to be in america and it's supposed to be you know somewhere in the middle of america sort of going up towards the north a little bit but i don't know exactly where central city is geographically but presumably it may be hot in the fall in autumn i don't know but in vancouver obviously they can't film that so i'm sort of like on and off i don't know if it's going to be a flashback or not but anyway ralph is not there so that was interesting and so he's returned here he's as the elongated man and so talking about what i just talked about with joe because elongated man is here and they are filming at the same place i would hazard the guess yeah they are filming some sort of action scene they're chasing a criminal whoever the criminal is for the episode actually we know that blood work is going to be the villain of the episode and he is very much so probably going to be cgi so maybe this is the scene they're shooting because you know maybe they aren't having a stand-in or they aren't doing like a suit like they did with gorilla grod with savitar and so on so maybe this is a scene where they are confronting blood work or it could be to do with godspeed but Godspeed hasn't been seen around the set, but he is confirmed for episode 1, and so is Bloodwork, who is a villain in the comics. We talked about him in a video the other day, so you can go check that out if you haven't already. But yeah, so Ralph is here, he's been filmed, and he's got his full suit, he's got his mask on, so yeah, definitely some sort of action scene going on right here. Okay, so moving on past this, we've got this photo and this photo just shows where they were filming this is in coal harbor that's what they call it and that's in vancouver but you see it's quite an open area behind so maybe it's some sort of just park or like attraction like just a normal thing going on in the summer in the nice scorching heat and then a load of police cars show up and obviously joe gets out of one of them presumably and we have the whole police force so yeah it definitely backs up the idea that maybe they are fighting blood work here because why would there be three central city police cars if they aren't chasing someone massive chasing someone that's going to be doing something that can cause a lot of damage or has caused a lot of damage but yeah because it's kind of open i'm presuming some sort of event goes on like i said just earlier and then it causes the inciting incident to have the police arrive we have the elongated man and then we obviously have Joe as well. Don't know if Barry's in the scene or not. But they were filming that earlier today. And it seems like later tonight they are doing that establishing shot. So maybe it's all to do with this singular building that they will film tonight. And so just now I've checked Canada Graphs' Twitter. And they were actually there on the set. So go check them out. Their blog post will be in the description below. And also their Twitter. But this doesn't come from the blog. But you can still check it out. From the last photos because he has a lot of photos and a lot of information as to what's going on i'm presuming he'll have another blog post out very soon about today's filming but anyway so he said the flash is shooting a stunt scene with just regular people now no cast or even stunts of the main cast so i'm presuming this is after what happened after when we saw elongated man and joe being around so they're filming some sort of stunt scene so yeah it does obviously back up the idea that blood work is in the scene He's probably CGI. I'm not sure. Obviously, I'm not there on the set, so I don't know everything that's going on. So, a lot of this is just me theorizing, so don't take it as my pure concrete word. But anyway, so then he actually went on in this next tweet, and so this was at Coal Harbor where they were shooting in Vancouver. And so we see a car toppled over, and so this is hashtag set decoration, is what he put. So, presumably, they crashed this before, they did this like this. And this was part of the stunt that was going on. So the car flipped upside down. So, so something obviously extremely strong flipped it. And so moving on to the last tweet that we're going to talk about. So he says, guess I know why Ralph Dibney wasn't at the family barbecue scene last week. Elongated man on set for the flash shoot. So obviously there's some sort of detail that's going to be in this blog. And there is some sort of reason for Ralph actually not being at the barbecue like I theorized just before. So that is about it for this video, guys. So it's been a whole mashup, a lot of set photos, a lot of information going on about season six, episode one, but also Comic Con and some confirmations as to who's going to be showing up or not. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. 
I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.